Heidi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly bird tool bear back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're doing an update to the video I did, the nine drawer tool buyer guide, cabinet guide. Uh, we did July of last year. Now, normally I don't like to just do one of these like once a year kind of thing. It's kind of like rehashing it and stuff. But a viewer said, hey, can you redo this video, update it for the current prices? Because he's like, the market's really changed. I'm like, how much could the market have changed? Oh, the market has changed. It's an entirely different world now. So the bear's going to guide you through all of these. And we're going to talk about everything that's out there and what you can get and what you can't get. First of all, I guess a huge thank you to today's sponsor. That is Skillshare. They've been a great sponsor of the channel. Be sure to check them out. Of course, they are your premier place for online learning uh, and exploring new skills and, and all sorts of creativity. So we'll talk more about them here in just a minute. But we got to go over to Harbor Freight because they kind of set the tone. They're kind of the ones who made this kind of tool. We go, where's a good question for it? It's not really a tool cabinet. It's got a workbench top. It's called a mobile storage cabinet, mobile workbench, all sorts of kind of different names for it. The nine drawer cabinet, because it's got a bank, two banks of four drawers, plus one big drawer across the top. That's what kind of set the industry standard for this, or at least it had been. And the price on this is $400. Last year, we were seeing this at $350 for the holidays. And uh, currently, it's just parked at $400. Now, they do have a, another version of this that I you know that I have. Uh, it's got the two drawers and it's got six shelves down below. It's not nearly as useful. It was pretty budget-friendly back in the day. It was sub $300. I think we got it for $250 at the time. Anyway, this is now sitting parked at $350. No current sale on it. Will there be a Black Friday sale? Hard to say because, you know, they have such limited quantities of these as it is. And that's, I think, going to be across the board. One of the biggest issues, a lot of places you go in and you, you have to order this stuff and you have to hope you get it. I know I'm only going to include this because I know someone's going to ask about it. And why aren't you going to compare the U.S. general, you know, uh, roller bank cabinets? Because <laughs> they're now $600. And, and yeah, they're just, they're not in that budget front. They're, they're no longer an entry level kind of tool, you know, workbench kind of thing. I'm sorry. They're, they're now a mid-level one and considering the build quality, that's kind of honest, but I'm going to have for all those other ones, I'm going to have the uh, spreadsheet. First of all, I'll have links down below. You can go down there somewhere on, on the video description. There'll be links to each one of these. And on top of that, there'll be a link to a spreadsheet that's going to have all the details with height, depth, how many drawers it has, how much it costs, how much it can hold, weight capacity, all that stuff. You can get all your nerdy data kind of stuff going on there if you want. Now, let's jump over to Lowe's Craftsman. If you've been following the channel, you know the Bear's been investing in some Craftsman stuff. Not that I'm going to say that you should. This one, check this out. This was in stock five minutes ago. It's now showing out of stock. Uh, I've deleted, I went through, I had a huge list of stuff and I had to remove a whole bunch because they're all stuff that are not just out of stock. It doesn't look like they're ever going to come back into stock. So it's, and if they do, it's going to be some ways down the road. It might not be the same thing. It might be slightly different. So we're only going to count stuff that's in stock or reasonably will be in stock soon. So this should come back in stock. It's it's currently on sale, uh, $80 down to three fifty, which is probably why it just went out of stock. And uh, it, you, you have to watch my videos on the Craftsman stuff to really see what I feel about it. Honestly, the, this is, I think, bottom of the barrel of, well, there may be some cheaper ones in here, but they're, I'll, I'll call them out when, when you run across them. The build quality on the Craftsman is uh, disappointing. Let's put it that way. But $350 to get you a 41-inch by 35-inch high uh, cabinet. All right. Now, the next one up, we got this one. This is basically... Uh, kind of the same thing, but what you're getting here is you're getting more drawers in it. You're not getting the wood top. Instead, you just get the little uh, mat on it. And it's not like on the U.S. General. When you look at the U.S. General, this thing has a really robust kind of rubber mat on the top. And this is not what you're getting with the Craftsman. This thing is more like foam rubber, really light, squishy foam. Uh, I was, as I said, disappointed is the word that goes along with the Craftsman. 389 though, if you're looking at, you know, the cost per volume ratio on this. Now, this is the one you know that I just picked up, $439. And uh, it's it's got a bunch of drawers and it's big. It's a 52 inch cabinet. It's only 18 inches deep. Uh, in the slide support, 100, you know, 100 pounds each. Now it doesn't have the standard one large 
you know, drawer across the top. But, you know, that's fine on something like this. You, you're you getting a good amount of drawers. We got one, two, three, four, five, ten drawers on this one. So, basically, they just took the top drawer and split it in two. I, not a big deal for me. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> we're going to have to see what else is out there. I, I, I know I sound hesitant on this, but the news is not good, folks. All right. Here we go. Look at this. $300, sub $300, $298 for a Husky mobile workstation. What's not to like about this? How about the fact it's only 42 inches? Just so you know, this is the standard on almost all of these, 46, 46. We'll see some more 46. For the nine drawer, that kind of, this is the new Black Friday special, and it's the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, shrinkage or something like that. It's it's you're getting less for the same amount is what's going on. Husky was one of the best buys last year. You got the the power strip. It's got a couple USB ports in it. You got the cord over there. It's got decent construction. It, it's it's a decent cabinet, nice wood top, all of that, and three hundred dollars. I mean, the price is nice, but they've knocked four inches. And you're like, oh, four inches. So what? Well, that's four inches. You know, up, down, left, right. So that cubic wise, that's knocking off a significant amount of storage on this box. Just keep that in mind. Now, if you want the full the full size box, your special buy special sale price is four hundred dollars. That's thirty one dollars off. This is the full size, forty six inch wide, twenty four inch deep. Now, that's one of the things we talk about over the uh, the uh, the old uh, Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight, at, you know, they really kicked Husky to the curb with quality when they came out. They were doing a much better job of build quality on these boxes at the same or better price and husky fired back by saying fine we'll make a bigger box but they do charge you know they were charging a bigger price now currently it's on sale is your would you pay let's say it wasn't on sale because maybe you're watching this a couple months from now would you pay 420 for let's call it 430 for the box with a 24 inch versus uh 400 for the box that's 18 inch if you have the space, I would say, yeah, you have to do it. Also, it comes in all these lovely colors. We got white, we got red, we got gray, blue, black, and all black, where the handles are black as well. It's a great box. But, you know, if you don't have that kind of depth in your workspace, maybe you don't have room for a 24 inch box, then, then get the 18 inch box. Now, I got to put this one in here because it, it, met, it met the stats, but it's kind of funny. It's a Stanley. Now, this is their 300 series. D7 drawer. It's got six drawers plus the seven. It's a seven drawer cart. You get the one long one. You, it's kind of offset. Now I do kind of like that kind of doing that, like doing different sizes on the banks, not making them symmetrical. Is that way? I, if I want a smaller drawer, I have a smaller drawer. Some nice deep drawers down at the bottom. The nice wood top on it. 429. This one is 41 inches deep. That's down from the 42, 41. Now, this is 20 inches deep, though. So it's a little bit more that way. It's 20 inches deep, not quite the 24 we saw on the other one. It is just weird what is going on with this market. It's like the nine drawers have all but disappeared. Now, Huskies, they're the strongest in this. Now, they've got this one. I've been a fan of this one for a while, $498. It's essentially the, the nine drawer cart you saw from before, although the power strip goes sideways on this one for some reason. And then there's this fold-out table on the back. Great for a glue-up or workstation kind of stuff. You can really, you know, make some excellent room out of it. Although, it don't like, you would think something like this would come with four swivel wheels. So it's up against the wall. I could pull it out from the wall and then set my table up. But no, so you have to do that whole swing back and forth kind of. Yeah, anyway, $498 on that. It's a special use kind of case. If it works for you, it works for you. This thing, $440, it is the exact same as, as, as this, although it has the black handles, rather. I mean, but that is an option. You can get the, the one with the black handles for that price. There you go. Well, actually, it's $449. My bad, the black handle is $449. What's the blue one? $449. What's the price on this? The, the, only this one's on, on sale. The other ones are $450. Great, $450, $450, $450. Of course they are. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and you're, for 440, when I get this one, I guess you'll save yourself ten dollars, and you get the uh, the little bin trays and the power strip up there as well. That's kind of nice. I kind of do like the power strip, but you, basically you're you're getting that uh that strip right there. That's the only thing that's different. Now, 
I had, I'd, I had set a limit to $500 on these, but this one, we're going to have a couple that kind of go over that. Just a smidge. I had to include it since it's Milwaukee. This is their list price. If it goes on sale, it'll drop down below that $500 price tag there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Milwaukee carts. Uh, you, you know, I will say this, though. They have not jumped up in price like everyone else. So at this point, they're, you know, comparison-wise, they're in the race, except for the fact and then also I'm going to include this one. It's 503. It's over my limit, I know. 41 inch by 21 inch, 11 drawer cart. It does have the nice breakup on that. So you got the shorter uh, drawers on one side. You got the longer drawers on the other side. Uh, it does have double bearings on the top drawer, which means you're probably going to get a good amount more. Usually it's 50 pounds per slide. Two slides on each one is probably, you know, usually so that's to get your 100-pound drawer. So that might be a 200-pound drawer. Though it's just say it's 120-pound rated soft closed drawers. I'm not feeling a soft closed drawers. Yes, my the the craftsman I just got it has that. I, I, for for kitchen cabinets, fine. For for work cabinets, I, I don't see the point. Um, anyway, uh, next up we got I got to include this one. Because on sale, it comes in under the, the price. Now, this is, you know, if you come in weeks or even months from now and you see this video, I'm sorry, it's probably not going to be at that price. Maybe it'll be back on sale by then. This is a 52-inch. This is basically the same as that 46-inch Husky cart. They've stretched out, same build quality. You're getting the same uh, power strip, the same uh, cords, the same top, everything. It's just longer. 52 inches by 24 inches deep for $4.98. That's got to probably be one of the best bargains per cubic inch here uh you know <laughs> you, what do you know you learn something every day but speaking about learning let's talk about skillshare online learning is quickly becoming a primary source of education and skillshare is leading the way their community allows millions of creative people to join together in learning and even inspiring others they offer classes on a wide variety of topics you'll not only learn but you'll also interact through class projects one of my favorite features is that they're also adaptive to fit your schedule. That makes it perfect for busy tool bears like me. My family has always believed that learning is not a destination, it's a journey, and that you're never too old to learn new tricks. Now, Skillshare offers, as I said before, a wide variety of topics. Some of my favorite are photography, cooking, and productivity. A class I recently finished was the Productivity Masterclass, How to Do More While Working at Home. Yeah, we all know how 2020 is going. And as wonderful as it sounds to be able to work from home, it does come with some significant challenges. Those are how to stay focused and say be productive while being at home. And classes like this are helping me do just that. Members get access to thousands of ad-free classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. And the first 1,000 people to use my link below will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare. All right, and let's jump back into it. We got to go over to Walmart because Walmart had one of the best deals last year, and they don't have any deals this year. They, in fact, the nine drawer carts are gone at Walmart. The only kind of mobile work bench kind of thing they have is the heart. It's a 36 inch for $400, which has probably pretty much been the price it's been since launch. It, I like the look of it. It's decent build quality. It's not super top notch. It's definitely weekend warrior DIY level. I like the color scheme. I like the heart logo. I like everything about it other than that price. This should be a $300 cart all day long. Uh, maybe even a, like a $275, $280. Anyway, uh, Rural King. Rural King <laughs> still has their cart they're one of the few people who still has one of the classic nine drawer carts here so here's, here's your nine drawer cart 46 inches wide i'm pretty sure this is uh though it's an 18 inch depth yeah 18 and 1 8 inch depth on this uh it's got the a decent build quality it's not uh, I don't know if I say it's the best build quality out there. Three hundred and fifty dollars though for that compared to you know the Harbor Freight five hundred dollar one, uh, or not five hundred four hundred dollar. My bad, four hundred dollars on the, on that one. But you know if you got a real king near you, hey maybe you're in luck. I couldn't find oh so many other ones were gone. Menards, Menards had one. Nope, no Menards nine drawer cart this year. You've got the Performax forty inch cart for three hundred and fifty six dollars 
after mail-in rebate. Remember the rebate at Menards, you mail in the rebate, but then you have to use it in store. It's basically, it's a mail-in coupon uh, that you take back into store and you cannot use for online purchases. So if you're not near Menards, don't think you're going to order this, get it sent to you and get that rebate. Uh, it's only good towards the next purchase in store. Uh, then also we have the 41 inch. I don't understand this. This one is 356, but if you want the 41 inch by 18 inch deep, uh, it's, it's a whole heck of a lot more. Uh, maybe it's got better. I didn't look at it that much. I'll be honest. If you're interested in this, there's a Menards near you, uh, then you could check it out. Uh, unfortunately, the closest Menards for me is like five hours away. All right. Now, what happened? I know you're asking the bear, what happened to all these great nine drawer tool cart deals? Why aren't you finding them? Well, here's Cobalt's nine drawer out of stock and it's been out of stock for months and months and months. I don't think it's coming back. Craftsman has pretty much kicked Cobalt to the curb over there. You're not going to see a lot of Cobalt boxes over at Lowe's anymore. They might have one or two. You're not going to see, and you're definitely not going to see the super cheap ones because they're pushing the Craftsman. Home Depot, Here's their 24 by, or sorry, 46 by 18 inch depth one. Oh, look, it's gone. Gone, gone, gone. You have no choice. Your only option now is the, the 42 inch one if you want the bargain one, or if you want the 46, you got to step up to the 24 inch deep one at $400. There's just no other option. And the one which was like the best buy last year, the Olympia, I was able to find the Olympia again. Uh, except it's now $619, $619. And guess what? You don't get the power strip anymore. They've removed the power strip and more than doubled the price. This is insane. And I know it's easy to sit there and go, well, you know, the, 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 it's going to get better. It's going to, or whatever. I, I have a feeling it's not going to get better guys and gals. And this is the price basis. Remember, things things shoot up, they float back down. If the economy calms down, they get inflation under control, and they figure things out, in a year and a half, two years, maybe we'll start seeing reasonably priced nine-drawer carts again. Uh, but until that time, that's kind of the situation. So what's your call? Do you do you go with, you just suck it up and say, well, I'll just get the 42 inch and, you know, be better about my management or do you suck it up? Do you get the 46 inch and pay the $400 for it? Do you go my route and get the craftsman? And yeah, it's a lot more storage for not much more money, but the build quality just, you know, just be gentle with it. You know, don't move. I wouldn't roll it around over hard things too much. If you're rolling around your garage, nice hard floor, not too many seams. You'll, you'll probably be fine with it, to be honest. As a home user, weekend warrior type, I just, you know, was expecting a whole lot more for it. Um, you know, what is, what's your favorite choice here? Uh, what's what's the one you're going to go with? Are you just going to hold off and wait and actually buy, try to find, you know, something like an actual, you know, mechanics tool cabinet? In fact, if you want, if you, I was thinking about doing a video uh, comparing mid-tier actual toolboxes not exactly workbenches so much because these these things uh they're kind of combo units it's, it's toolbox storage it's miscellaneous tool storage it's workbench the whole nine yards if you want me to do a video comparing mid-tier toolboxes uh look, put put a comment down below and uh you know what while, while you're down there don't forget to uh, chomp the old like button smash the subscribe ring the bell on your way out <laughs> <laughs> you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.